Hey you guys, it's Katie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, those 23 subscribers I have. Um, today I'm going to be talking basically all about my skin, my history with my skin, my struggles, and basically how I got it to the way it is now. Now, I didn't plan on having any makeup on for this video just so you could like really see my skin, but uh, the way that the timing and the filming worked out, uh, I am wearing makeup. But I will insert pictures of me not wearing makeup. Um, and you can look at my vlogs. I don't wear makeup and like pretty much any of my vlogs. So let's talk about the history with acne. It all started, you know, kind of when everyone gets their breakouts. I got it in eighth grade. I got a bunch of like little, little zits everywhere all around my forehead. And um, when it came to like makeup and what I did to take off my makeup, I would wear foundation and mascara and I never took my makeup off before bed because I wasn't educated. Um, freshman year, I finally, you know, understood, hey, you gotta take off that makeup, girl. Um, maybe late eighth grade year, I actually figured that out. But I finally started doing it. I would take my makeup off with makeup wipes. And you know, I tried a lot of stuff from the drug for, drug store and it just irritated my skin. And um, so freshman year comes, my skin is clear, but well, my forehead is clear. All those pimples went away. They didn't really have like the ability or the time to scar because they were so, 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 so little that I didn't even bother picking at them because it wouldn't, they weren't zits you could pop. And um, so then freshman year comes and those are gone, but now I'm starting to break out on my cheeks and um, they were consistently breaking out. It, my skin was pretty much never getting better. Let's say one zit would fade away, two more zits would show up, and one zit goes away, and then four more zits show up, and I'm not even being dramatic. And these were, like, some were bigger. None of them were really small and, like, unnoticeable. There was always, like, something that was noticeable about them. And it is totally normal to um, break out when you're in high school, but I just kind of noticed that a lot of the people I was surrounded by, a lot of my peers, in classes I was always the one with acne or I would always have like the worst acne out of everyone and I kind of just like look around and be like okay like I'm the girl with acne like that freaking sucks um and I tried all drugstore product uh, products I tried proactive that just burned my skin um I tr like I was thinking around my junior year, I tried taking um, these like antibacterial pills that my like pediatrist recommended to me because he said that, you know, acne is caused because of bacteria. So shh, no, maybe if we you give we give you um, an antibacterial pill, it will clear up all the bacteria. The thing that I hated with that was I had to eat, uh, I had to take it two times a day, morning and night, and. You have to eat food before you um, have the pill and drink a lot of water with it. And in the morning, like, I just, like, did, I wasn't ever hungry. So sometimes, like, I would go, like, I would try to go without taking um, food. Or I would just, for, like, forget that I hadn't eaten any food. And I had just realized, oh, I need to take my pill. I need to take my pill. So I would take it. And it made me throw up. Like, if you don't eat enough food with that pill, you will throw up, no doubt about it. And if you don't drink a sufficient amount of water with it, girl your throat is gonna be burning like burning to the gods trust me and so i stopped that also it's killing bacteria and it's not just focused on my face it's killing bacteria everywhere i don't want to get too graphic with you guys but down there south, down south um let's just say it took my bacteria uh my good bacteria away and i ended up getting a freaking yeast infection so i honestly wouldn't recommend that especially for uh girls oh and then uh i think beginning of senior year i tried two gels one was a retinol and the other one was called clindamycin they basically dried out your skin so you know like uh new cells could resurface quicker um, that made me break out a little bit, but the thing with that was, ugh, like, it dried you up so much. You couldn't put makeup over it, because if you put makeup over it, you're going to dry it out more. It's going to look gross. I mean, it's, like, literally, like, dry flakes all over my face. It was so embarrassing. I remember 
for the job I had now to go like get interviewed or whatever I had like these dry things on my face and I tried putting foundation on it and it just wasn't like a good look it was so frustrating and um right around here right here the corners of like my lips dried out so bad and I couldn't even like like I couldn't stretch my lips apart to like even laugh or open my mouth if I wanted to and literally they would crack and bleed so I was like not doing this anymore and um by the way for those I used the smallest dosage possible and it still wasn't working so basically I would say from freshman to junior year I was trying all the products I could uh, whether you know they were drugstore whether they weren't drugstore if they were prescribed to me sorry I was interrupted for a second but let me get back to where I was um so I was trying toners I was using um kinder products kind of like Cetaphil if you guys have heard of it I'm sure you guys have if you're um the least bit concerned with your skin um so junior year uh sen senior year comes around and um my skincare routine was basically take off my makeup with makeup wipes use something like Cetaphil use a toner and then I would use like the Mario Badescu drying lotion and I'll put them all over my zits which was literally my whole entire face or all my cheeks and I didn't moisturize and I did that every single night and I remember everyone would talk about the Mario Badescu drying lotion like it was the, like it was a god and like I never really had that experience with it and but I still used it all the time like I was like well if I don't use this like my skin's gonna be awful oh and then I ended up getting um I heard a lot about Clarisonics and stuff like that so I ended up splurging the money on one and it was a hundred dollars I got the most basic one I got the Mia one and I liked it honestly I felt like my skin was like much more like clear or not me not maybe much more clear it felt much more clean to me but then I noticed after it started helping, it started more of a like harming and I just started to real, you know, senior year comes and I'm just like realized like, like late senior year, I'm just like, these brushes hold so much bacteria. It's not antibacterial like the Michael Todd ones are. I never tried those, but, um, you know, I know it's not. So I feel like even though you're supposed to replace the brush head three months, I feel like three months isn't like enough so i had done this little thing where if you guys know what hydrogen peroxide is is basically like uh you like it kills germs and that's why you put it in cuts and wounds and you can even like swish it around in your mouth and um i had put some hydrogen peroxide in a cup i had put my clarisonic brush head into it and when you i don't know if you if you've put it on a scab before it bubbles because it's so uh you know it's infected or it has a lot of bacteria infected bacteria they go together um my brush head and i had only been using it for a month and mind you i take off my makeup really well and like then I, the brush head's kind of like my last step of cleansing so pretty much all my makeup should be gone by then oh my gosh the thing is covered in bubbles like there is not one clear spot to it so i was like okay i'm gonna have to stop using that so i don't use a brush head right now um and then like aside from not having just the proper skincare regimen and like thinking i was educated but really still not being educated at all about it um i had a poor diet i ate a lot of dairy um i still eat dairy now but i was having a lot a lot a lot of dairy you guys i wasn't hydrating myself i wasn't getting enough sleep at night um, I feel like sleep and stress were like so big because um, I was in high school and I wouldn't go to bed till late and uh, you know I would have to wake up every morning and I would save my alarm till the very last minute and I still wasn't getting enough sleep now my sleep schedule is a lot better because I pretty much go to bed when I'm tired which is you know 12 to 2 a.m. but I can pick my schedule because I'm in college now and you know I don't have to take a class till 6 o'clock at night if I want to I don't but uh, my first class you know is until 10 30 and I'm awake by like 9 and it's so much better um, so if you guys are in high school right now don't worry it gets so much better in college like amazing um, also I wasn't cleaning my pillow sheets as often as, sh as I should have and you know you sweat in your sleep and it's just you're laying on that pillow every night so 
Now let's talk about how I finally got my skin to where it is and I'm happy with where it is. I'm not, you know, depressed about it anymore. Um, so, um, I eat way less dairy. Um, I'm more aware of how much water I'm getting. I have a hydro flask, so I carry that with me a good amount of the time. Um, I get more sleep and I clean my pillow sheets. It's basically all the things I wasn't doing before. So let's talk about products. Everyone always wants to talk about products, 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 but I promise you these products aren't gonna do shit for you unless you're doing the things that I said before, which you know were the pillow sheets, etc. Um, so I start with taking off my makeup with either a micellar cleansing water or makeup wipes. Sometimes I'll use both. It's just kind of whatever I'm in the mood for. The micellar water I like is the simple uh, kind. I've been using this for such a long time. It's like literally like empty. Like there's like this much left, but um, this is great. It's so like kind to your skin. You know, the name simple isn't a gimmick. It really is, you know, kind to your skin. It's just... It's doing what it needs to do without having the fragrances, the per, you know perfumes. It's not having any other extra stuff that's uh, you know likely to irritate your skin. And then the makeup wipes I've loved are the the Pons ones. They have a purple, a blue, and a pink like different brand. Um, they all work the same on my skin. The purple one is it's the evening soothing one. I don't know if that's a difference, but. Yeah, those are what I'll use to take off my makeup and then I wash. Okay, to describe my skin, I would say it's combination. Um, my skin will start off like dry after I wash it kind of, but then by the end of the day, it's really oily. I use this Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash and I think this is the first face wash that I've actually like religiously used and I haven't, you know, Cause I like, I'm a, like, you know, I, I'm a product fiend. I love trying new products and I ended up wasting my, a lot of my money, you know, buying new cleansers. And, um, this was one that I finally am happy to repurchase. And the funny story behind this is real quickly, um, is I, this is my second bottle of it now, this full size, but I started using this when I went on vacation because I didn't want to bring a full size bottle of like face wash and I had a sample of this from Sephora and I was like, oh, I'll just take that. It's little and I was like, oh my, oh, I love it. It's amazing. It's so, it's, it's really for like, it's for combination skin. So it's not going to dry you out. It's not going to make you too oily. It's kind of like right in between. Um, so this is what I love and I just use it with my hands. I don't use a facial brush or anything like that. I haven't felt the need to. So then I, um, after that I will use, um, I, ha I have prescribed, this is, Ep this is Epiduo. This is actually like the stronger version of Epiduo a little bit. It's called Adapalene and Benzoyl Peroxide Gel. It's the 0.1% slash 2.5%. And, okay, I know, um, a lot of people are like all organic on their face and, um, they say don't put like harsh chemicals on your face and the thing is is this doesn't irritate my skin and honestly if you find something that works for you and people say it's not good for you um just use it i mean like it took me so long to find something that actually like worked for me and is i use so consistently in my routine that um I just don't, I am not comfortable yet getting rid of this. So maybe one day I'll lean it out and I'll have, you know, an all organic skincare routine and that might be better. But right now I am happy with what I'm doing. So please don't leave comments down below talking about how I shouldn't use this because it's really like chemically because um, I probably won't listen to you. So then after I've done that, uh, the last step is I moisturize and okay, so it took me so long to find a moisturizer that didn't clog my pores. Things would say they're non-comedogenic. They'd still irritate the crap out of my skin. Okay. This Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel. Okay, it's water-based. It's for extra dry skin. Um, it's a gel. Uh, it has hyaluronic acid in it, which is really good for brightening up like scars and stuff. This is also my second bottle uh like jar of this and you guys i am in love with it i feel so hydrated i use it before night you could put on as much as you want and it still wouldn't clog your pores and it's honestly 
the best thing ever. Uh, you don't have to get this one. This one's like $20. Um, I'll put the prices down below of these things. They're pretty average. Uh, this is the only one that's from the drugstore and the micellar water and the makeup wipes. But I'll put the prices down below. Um, but you guys, you don't have to buy this one. Um, if it's too expensive for you, I'm, there might be cheaper options. But I think something that's really important to look for in a moisturizer is water-based. Because it's really go water based are for sure not gonna clog your pores because it's literally water based it's you'll, you'll be fine i promise you it's like the best thing ever and then when it comes to mask treatments i've tried a lot of masks um and i would just like to say right off the bat my favorite one all time is this glam glow super mud clearing treatment this one you guys this is so good it doesn't i also have tried this glam glow youth mud one that kind of like tingles on your face and it it's good it's more of like an exfoliated uh type as to this one is more just like a gel type of thing you guys it is amazing it doesn't it's not like an extra stop it's not like extra drying on the skin in any way. It's And when I take it off, my zits are so much smaller. They're so much more or less noticeable. I promise you. I actually have this big zit right here right now. And I've been putting it on like every day. Just the one spot. I've been spot treating with it, you know. And it just, it, you guys, it's the best thing. It's pricey. Uh, I got this large one off of Amazon for $50 instead of $70 in Sephora. So, Kind of just like do your research you can always find stuff on amazon for cheaper or most of the time you can find stuff on amazon for cheaper so i love that one and then i also recently have tried the mask of magnum minty after people talking about it so much and i am i recording i feel like i'm not recording i'm recording thank god um i love this uh this is more of like a hydrating one looks like that and um these are more organic so uh if you're into organic stuff lush is great 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 um so i really like this one there's not much else to say about it and so that is my skincare routine so you guys have heard about my past you've heard about my present and um those are the products i'm using now if i could give you guys any advice uh that I've learned is first of all the less foundation I wear and the less frequently I'm wearing it my skin is happier um, especially when you're hydrating when you're not wearing makeup it's the best thing ever for your skin um, trust me where uh, leaning off the dependency for foundation is really gonna do your skin a solid acne can feel like the end of the world I promise you it isn't it's gonna go away eventually you just need to find the right like products for you um, and you know if people want to bully you about stuff please tell them to go fuck off because it's like if you've never dealt with acne you can be very insensitive to it um and you don't really get it and you might think someone's you might think someone's dirty or gross and they're not uh they probably have a better skincare routine than you do for not having any acne but the thing is is some people are just genetically uh born that way and i think you just need to be sensitive to people who do have acne that's really important i remember one time in eighth grade this uh, guy that was dating my friend he looks at me and i had acne and he was like oh you should have justin bieber come to your door and give you you know proactive and that's when justin bieber was doing commercials for proactive and like that hurt me so bad i literally cried about it and you know that kid was just very uh, insecure with himself. That's why he was uh, attacking me for some reason. He really felt the need to. But um, don't let kids like that bother you. They're so immature, especially in eighth grade. It's ridiculous. Last but not least, just to talk about dermatologists real quickly and my advice. I go to a dermatologist right now. Um, not all dermatologists are good, you guys. Uh, just you know, going to a dermatologist may not fix everything for you. And... They really like to prescribe you lots of lotions. Uh, you can go there and get prescribed so many different things. My dermatologist, uh, the first time I had went there, I remember she had asked me, what type of skin do you have? You know, oily, dry combination. And I go, I don't even know. Like, you know, I just didn't know. I had no idea. And like, 
I remember the guy, the assistant, laughed. And I was just like, I don't know why that's funny. Uh, I came to a dermatologist hoping you guys could tell me what type of skin I have because I know that my boyfriend said when he went to his dermatologist, they were helping him. They said, oh, you have this type of skin, so um, let's you know, prescribe you stuff for that type of skin because if you don't know what type of skin type you have, it's going to make it really hard to find things that work for you because you're probably going to constantly be buying the wrong things. So that's important. And if you don't want to go to a dermatologist because, you know, either it's expensive, insurance, or um, you don't like that they prescribe chemically things, you can go to like an esthetician and um, if you get a trusted one, they can do facials, they can give you stuff that's not chemically, it's more organic. So it's kind of just all based on who you are. That being said, this is my experience. It's my skin. It's a, I may have the same skin as some of you guys. I may not. And if, you know, I described my type of skin to you and it didn't really sound like you, that's fine. Uh, maybe don't get the products I have. It's kind of all up to you. Um, I have noticed though that the less products you're using, the kind of better it is for your skin, though it's kind of just depending on whoever you are. So, um, don't let acne drag you down. Don't let the people who say things or stare at you uh, drag you down because you'll get through it and you'll figure out what works for you eventually. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite products are, um, what you thought of this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.